Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a custom post layout using Bloxy's content blocks. All right, so we're on our dashboard. Hover over Blo Bloxy and click on content blocks. Once we're here, click on add new and click on custom template and click on single template. We'll call this custom post layout and click on create content block. Okay, once we're here, let's take a look at some settings here and scroll down and um, see this dynamic content preview. We can select either a post or a page to preview what it's going to look like. So. Let's go with this one, latest power bank trends. And let's head over back to our, oops, head back over to our archive here and navigate to this one. This is one of our posts and this is how, it's, how it looks like by default. And let's see how it's gonna look like when uh, after we're done with messing with our custom post layout. So you can see here we have page structure. Um, we can either change only the content area or the full page and when we select full page we can select the page structure which is narrow width normal width right sidebar left sidebar which you'll find in the customizer as well but it's easier to manage it from here if we're going to change the whole thing but if you don't want to worry about that we can just click on content area and we can rearrange how our posts are displayed so by default we have our title here our flavor text um, our breadcrumbs and our meta and the next we have our featured image and then our body text. So what if we wanted to change that up? Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for content and drag and drop over here. And you can see we have our content lined up. Now, what if we, uh, again, what if we wanted our featured image to be at the bottom? So let's go and search featured image and drag and drop it over here and you can see that our featured image is instead of the top on the bottom and let's say we wanted our breadcrumb to be on the top all right we can do that and after that we can put in our title here and that looks good. Now, if you wanted to have, um, let's say a standard hook, uh, rather than have hooks, but have uh, static elements instead, you can do that here. So rather than having to put a bunch of hooks, um, in, uh, inserting them here or uh, after a, a number of uh, pages, blocks, paragraphs, you can insert images here so that you don't have to do it on other kinds. And if we select display conditions, all right, we can include it on all singulars or only on a single post or posts within a certain taxonomy or tags or categories. But let's put it on all singulars and save the conditions there. And that's about it. So we can click on update here and it should save it. All right. And once it's done, we see our old page here and let's refresh it. And once we go over to our post here, you can see that our changes are reflected. So we have our breadcrumbs here. There's no more meta um, author name and the date and, and tags aren't there anymore. We have our title and we don't have a flavor text anymore, our excerpt and it goes straight into the content and our featured image is now here at the bottom. So there's how you make, how you make a custom post layout using Bloxy's content blocks. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.